Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. This video is in response to Hamza. Uh, there's a younger Hamza and an older Hamza at Hyde Park. And this video is basically in response to the older Hamza. Apparently he's written a book, he's a Muslim apologist down at Hyde Park. And he's written a book on the Gospel of Matthew. And he's going down to Hyde Park and trying to show that, that the, the book of Matthew is is not uh, the word of God so I'm just offering this video to Hamza that if I come down to Hyde Park I'm, I'm happy to debate you on the Gospel of Matthew and any questions that you might throw here's a here's a Gospel of Matthew by William Hendrickson it's quite a thick book and here's a, another Gospel of Matthew by Michael Mullins he's a Catholic uh, theologian um, and this is a Protestant evangelical theologian. So Hamza, uh, if you want scholarship, bro, uh, I can bring you the scholarship. I mean, you're going down there, you're asking people questions, but you're picking on Christians who really are just young Christians. You want to pick on someone like me who'll be reading this material by the time I get to see you. Um, so in page 75, this is after... A, a critical analysis of the history of the Gospel of Mark scholarship, looking at liberalism, Harnack and Boltman. Uh, Hendrickson then goes on on page 73 to say why he believes the Gospel of Matthew is reliable source material about Jesus. He goes, the testimony of eye, of eye and ear witnesses and the disciples to the effect that Jesus Christ is really the risen living Lord. Number two, the fact that this testimony is very early, far too early for folk law to have done its work or for pagan myths to have influenced the preaching of those who proclaim the risen Christ. We have, for example, the four Gospels. The first of the four is by tradition unanimously ascribed to Matthew, one of Christ's twelve disciples. By a host of early eyewitnesses, Mark, with whose name the second Gospel is linked, is described as the interpreter of Peter and apostle of witness, Peter's name is mentioned first in every list of the 12 apostles, Matthew 10, 24, 2, 4, Matthew chapter 10, verse 2 and 4, Mark chapter 3, verse 16, 19, Luke chapter 6, verse 14, 16, Acts chapter 1, verse 13. Luke, though himself not an eyewitness of the story of Jesus, made special mention of the fact that he belongs to the number of men who received their information from those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word luke chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 so anyhow you can read page 74 as well i would encourage anybody who's being troubled by hamza and his questions about the gospel of matthew and uh his, um, and, and hamza's critical questions i would encourage you to to go and buy yourself William Hendrickson's commentary by the Banner of Truth and uh, read it with the questions that Hamza throws against you go and read this commentary and it will give you the research and the material to answer his questions and to deal with his new book that's coming out soon or will be coming out soon or it maybe has come out but this will really help you God bless you